this is what I do when I'm home alone. Eat sugary snacks that I don't want my family to know I have. Oh, I've got marshmallow mateys and lucky charms, both of which I have never had before. And so, to make myself feel better afterward, I might give most of the cereal away to the chickens. But I've got to try these. I've never had them before. I'm going to do two rounds of trying them. Okay, I've heard people say that they wish there were more marshmallows in Lucky Charms. I was going to say it looks like Marshmallow Mateys has that covered, but then now looking at the bag, it just looks like most of the marshmallows are on the top. So, let's take a single marshmallow and... A handful of these critters. Looks like they're anchors. Let's try the marshmallow. Pretty much just like a stale marshmallow. And okay. It pretty much tastes like Cheerios with stale marshmallows in it. And Lucky Charms. Again, it looks like there's a whole bunch of charms right on top. So then, ah, come on, try one of these, hmm, maybe a bit more like the toasted Cheerios, I, <clears throat> I haven't had Cheerios even in probably since I was in elementary school. Around probably age 10 or 11, so 11 years ago. They don't taste different. But the the Lucky Charms marshmallows have more of a crunch to them. I think I like the marshmallows from the Lucky Charms better, and the main cereal pieces from the Marshmallow Mateys better. So, I've never really had cereal with milk. I haven't had cereal at all in years, but even when I did eat cereal, it was always with cream. So I've got, um, that's too much. There we go. So, that, ah, it's gonna 
why don't we just take the camera to the cup? Where? Oh, goodness. So that's about what I put in my cup. And we'll try putting some cream in there. Just a drizzle, proportionate to how much cereal I have. So now at this point, I need to try the charms and the main part of the cereal together. Okay, it just kind of seems like a fairly classic cereal experience. I would say the charms get lost in the rest of it. I always do this to myself. I'm curious about these things, and when I try them, I'm underwhelmed. There's a reason my parents never gave them to me. <laughs> I saw some bad things about Marshmallow Mateys online, so I'd say it stands up against its reputation. It is no worse than Lucky Charms, I'd say. But let's try that. And I think... These, the Lucky Charms, were, oh, I can just look at the package. 3.1 ounces for a dollar, and Marshmallow Mateys were 7.8 ounces for a dollar. The dye is bleeding into the the cream a little bit. Once I stir it in, I can't see much of a difference in color to the cream. But there's little trails of blue and pink going through the cream. Let's get that drip off there. And then maybe... Where is the camera? Probably can't see. Mm. Okay. And one more thing. I'd like to try. Last time I tried a cereal I'd never had before, which was um, off camera, I just decided to film this on a whim. Ma <clears throat> mainly so I can watch it back at some point and laugh at myself, pretending as though anyone were watching. 
I know there are a few people here and there that watch. I've got 200 subscribers, and I don't know why with the stupid random stuff I put out. And I know that most of the 200 don't even watch my regular videos. But I'll be right back. I'm going to put some coffee in it. I like having, putting coffee in my, I have berries and cream almost every Sunday morning, and I like dumping my coffee in that. I typically drink black coffee, but I will pour coffee into other things that have cream in them. So, let's try this. Coffee absolutely betters the experience. You kind of expect it to. There's a bitterness to it, and it tones down the overly sweet. But it also makes the charm soggy. I just got an X-shaped one. I thought those were mostly horseshoes. So, I guess there's multiple different shapes of cereal pieces. And the Lucky Charms. And I guess since the coffee's more watery than the cream, um, the marshmallow's kind of rehydrated. Now I'm wondering if those are dehydrated versus dried. Because there's a, or maybe even freeze-dried, because there's a lot better texture to the Lucky Charms. It is kind of like, I've had freeze-dried cranberries before, and they've got that airy sort of texture that these do. <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering if those might be freeze-dried. And now, I'm looking at this, it says, Frosted toasted oat cereal. So it does say it was toasted. I said it was more like the toasted um, Cheerios. And this one Marshmallow Madey cereal Blood me or in free Hard to show detail Um If it is toasted they don't Advertise. Here it is. With sweet toasted oat flavor. So they they say that they're toasted, but these definitely taste more toasted. But I still think I like these better. They don't have... Now, I'm being contradictory to myself because I was going to say these don't have the kind of bitter quality that those two, but then I'm going and dumping coffee in it, which is more bitter. 
but a better bitter in a way that I can't exactly explain. It's a coffee bitter. And these haven't even got their coffee treatment yet, so they need the same... They need a fair trial. Okay, and that it seems like you definitely know it when you get a hold of one of the charms. got so many of the charms in my spoon, yet lower down in the bag, it looks like a lot of the charms disappear. The bag loses its charm as time goes on. Well, I guess that's just about it. I had a bias. I was going into it wanting to like the marshmallow babies more. I just... I wanted the knockoff to be better than the big brand. Um... I would say overall, I do like them better. Well, I think I ran out of things to say. So I'm going to eat enough cereal to soak up the liquid I put in my bowl and then and give the rest of the chickens. And right now, Say goodbye. See ya, chair, stool.